Hey guys, Shield here. Uh, I noticed that I haven't done one of my redstone tutorials in a while, so I'm going to be doing one of those. Let's go. So first, we have the T flip flop. I haven't done the uh, intermediate gates yet so that's what this is going to be let me just get a button i hope i'm doing this right <laughs> uh put this here no this no this here okay and uh this here Okay, I believe that's it. Okay. Uh... No, it's like this, right? Right, okay. So then we have this here, put this here, put this here, and we have this here. Okay, I think that's it. Uh... There we go. So this right here, T flip flop. This gate right here, it is basically when you turn a button into a lever. How does this work? Well, once you press the button, it turns this cell on, which activates this redstone cell. Then it, this redstone cell activates this piston right here. But it also goes into this block, and then the power in this block goes into the repeater. Then, as soon as that happens, one tick passes by. And right after the tick is done, the piston activates, and the block is up here. It can't go through anymore, so it's only a one tick pulse. I hope I explained that in extreme detail. So, pist sticky pistons. Once you have them, once there is a one tick pulse, it lets it lets go of the block that's connected to it. And then once you press it again. It takes it back. So we take the concept that a redstone torch, when it's below a block, it puts power into that block and that sends it through a redstone signal. And that turns this button into a lever. So this is a button, right? I press it, that turns off. Press it again, that turns on. So that was the uh, first one I have to. First one I had to show you, and yeah, it's pretty brief, but yeah. Okay. Next, yeah, there are only going to be two gates in here. Get out, get out now. Do it now. Go, go, leave, leave, leave now, leave now. Go. Thank you. Okay. So, next we have an RS no latch, and let's hope I do this right. Also, this here. This here, and then we have a button here, button here, yep, okay. So, an RS Norlatch is basically like you have two buttons that power two things, but when one thing is powered, the other thing is not powered, and when that thing is powered, the other one is not powered. It's like an on and an off switch to explain. Okay, let me just show you. So, if I press this, this turns on. Then, when I press this, this turns that off, but at the same time, it turns this on. How is this useful? We can use it in a simple and a simple combo lock. So, before I do the combo lock, let me just show you um, a vertical version that I'm going to be using. I believe this was designed by Ant Venom, or it's de or it's designed by the person that Ant Venom found. I'm not sure. Anyway, it is like this. Okay, so this is on. This is off. Press this. This turns on. Oh crap, I forgot to turn chat off, Jesus. Can't believe I didn't notice that. Uh, okay, so 
this is off, press this, this turns on, this turns off, etc, etc. So how do we use this in the combat lock? Well, pfft, seriously? Well, it's actually pretty simple. All we need to do is connect these and connect them to some buttons, then connect the end to a door. And I will explain that in time lapse. Let's go. Okay, I believe that's it. Uh, let's see if I did it right. Yeah, I think I did it right. Um, so I set it up. So wait, uh, I didn't set up the reset. So basically, this RS nor latch right here unlocks this next one, and that one unlocks this one, and that one unlocks this one. So, I can't change this one right here if I press this, because this one is still powering that one. So, that makes it so that I can only unlock this one when this one has been unlocked. So, after this has been unlocked, I can finally unlock this one. There we go. And then the next one. And then the next one. And once this is off, we reverse this using a notch latch, and then that unlocks the door. And the reset basically just powers all this and closes the door. So that sh sort of shows the importance of the RS no latch. So. <clears throat> Those are the intermediate gates for you. They're not really drawn to logic as much as the expert and easy ones, but you know. It, they're really useful to know if you're doing some sort of game or something, or making a combo lock. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Like, favorite, subscribe, do what you gotta do. Uh, peace. So you're telling me that these other two people are waiting here just like me and being like, are you serious? Just let us freaking fight. That's what we're here to do. Oh my gosh. You know what? Now I'm just gonna freaking feed my pet. I'm too, I'm too fucking tired. Oh, n now you decide.